Field it cleanly. He'll go to scope at second for the force out, and that ends the inning. But the Twins fire the opening salvo as they're on the board courtesy of this solo home run. We'll head to the top of the second, and the Twins are off to an early 1-0 lead. Second inning set to go, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Jonathan Scope. Here comes the first pitch. Into center field, line drive base hit. So a good start to the inning for the Tigers as their leadoff hitters on base. That is it. The third baseman, Gamer Candelario. The next batter, Jamer Candelario. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 and 0. Well, today's game provides the visiting squad with a chance to complete the series sweep, guys. Sure does, and it's always difficult to sweep and win a series on the road, especially when you're playing a division opponent. A ball and a strike now. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third, and no swing. It's ball two. The 2-1. Two, one. Well, I got 3-1. Three, three balls, one strike. A runner at first with no outs here. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. And one thing that would certainly help their cause in going for the sweep is if they can break out the big bats like they did yesterday. Several home runs in that ball game. It's not easy to hit home runs with this day and age with guys throwing with increased velocity. They were knocking the ball out of the ballpark all day yesterday. They'd like to save a couple of those and use them in this game today. So stepping in, Austin Romine, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First offering on its way. Starts him out with a cutter, and he gets him to swing through at one strike. The Tigers had a lot of success at the plate yesterday, a double-digit hit total as a team, so they'd like to make that happen again as they go for the sweep. When you're playing as well as this team is right now, they've got them right where they want them. They're only down one early in this one, and when you've won a couple of games in a row already, you have that feeling you can certainly come back and win this one. One and two to the Tigers catcher. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. No balls in one strike. Slow curveball in there for strike two. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. For me, check swings are right there next to bang bang place at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Has a look, now the pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Two down, runners at first and second. Oh, and two, the count to Maven now. Hit the other way out toward right field. Long run for the right fielder. And this one bounds around against the wall. 
He's in at second safely as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. Yeah, it's always nice to get a run right back after you've given one up to the guys in the other dugout. So he squares this thing up really well to drive it a run and ties us up at one. to the plate now Victor Reyes and a first pitch swing he hits a fly ball to left center and this looks to be extra bases as a run comes across to score and the throw in gets away from him man he was not messing around here sitting on the first pitch he saw and drove it to the outfield bringing in both runners and putting himself into scoring position it's great to see a guy that's aggressive at the plate when he's got a chance to do some damage in now Ken Griffey Jr. as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike so far 0 for 1 with a fly out three runs already home here and a half hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike and the inning is over so three runs Max Kepler the next to grab a bat lifetime numbers against Matt Boyd he's got two hits in 18 at bats he also has one home run good bite to the slider and he takes strike one. On the ground to the left side. He's got it. Throw to first is in time for the first down. In now, Eddie Rosario. And he's just hoping for something to go his way in this one. And as you can see, it's not been the case of late. First pitch of the at bat on its way. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. As we take a look at this one, you can see he puts a good swing on it. But I don't think he got her just enough to put some backspin to get it out of here. But hard to complain about a well hit double, though. First pitch on its way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. In front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Grounded down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Down the left field line and deep. And that's going to land foul. Runner at second here with one man out. Three. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. It's never a good look to strike out looking, but it's way worse when you do it with a guy in scoring position. Those are the times you really want to see a guy battle and at least put the ball in play. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. Two out here and a runner at second. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Twins wind up stranding one. Score holds. It's three to one.
New inning set to get underway, and that brings in Miguel Cabrera. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Here comes the first pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Pitch on the way. And he misses with it one and one. Hit hard to third. Donaldson's up with it. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. The batter. The first baseman. One gone here in the Detroit third. And that'll bring up the big first baseman, CJ Crone. Here it comes. Hit back up the middle. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. The batter number eight. Second base. Here's Jonathan Scope now. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit on the ground toward the left. And that is through into left field. A base hit. So he finds the hole into left to pick up his second base hit of the afternoon. And as you can see on the graphic, his total for the year places him third best on this year's Tigers ball club. Into the box now, Jimer Candelario, as he'll take a look at ball one. The 1 0 home is looked at for the first strike. One and one. Now the 1 and 1 pitch is laid off for ball two. Lifted in the air to center field. Buxton is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Tigers leave one and it's still three to one. We're just about set to go here as the Twins come to bat in the third inning, and this is an offense that's really been productive this year. They enter the day among the league leaders in both home runs and runs scored, so it's no secret what a threat they present to opposing pitching staffs. As one player told me earlier, we've got a stacked lineup, so as long as we all show up to swing it every day, we're going to cause a lot of problems for the other guys. It's a fun group of guys to hit with. Matt, back to you. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. The second Stepping in, Luis Arias, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Under it is Maben now as he pulls it in for the first out. The center fielder. So one away off. here with the bases empty, Byron. and that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Buxton. Playing here in his age 26 season, he was a fifth round pick during the 2020 draft. Hey, when you come out of the middle round, you have to grind for everything, and that's exactly what this guy reined in. And they won't have a play as he reaches it first. Let's see how this is scored. Now the right field. Nelson. Through. Digging in for his second at bat, Nelson Cruz. He comes in 0 for 1 on the day thus far after reaching on an error his first time up. Cruz, or the Boomstick, as he's appropriately nicknamed, he was taken in the 14th round during the 2020 draft. 
Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. This guy has turned. Meanwhile here, the throw down to second is not in time, and it's a stolen base. Here's the one and one delivery. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Now back, the designated hitter. Next to be the designated hitter, Miguel Sano, runner in scoring position with two gone. First pitch of the at bat. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Third inning here, three to one our score. Outside for a ball, one and one. Tough spot to hit here as a hitter. You have a base open, so you have to almost be trying to think like the pitcher. Is he going to try to pitch around me, or is he going to come in the strike zone? Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. One left for Minnesota. They still trail it here three to one. Ball set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Austin Romine. First pitch on its way. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. High in the air out to center field. Buxton is right there, one down. Now batting, shortstop, Harold. Stepping Castro. into the box, Harold Castro looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Around second now and headed for third. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. Boy, after that base knock right there, d -Roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. Yeah, and that splitter is normally the go-to pitch to this guy, but it really hasn't shown that good downward action that he usually has. He needs to get back to finishing it out front. Lifted in the air to right field. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there, and that's the second out. The relay throw, and they get the double play at third. One hit in the inning, but no one left. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Tigers lead it three to one. Bottom of the inning now, and now it'll be the catcher, Mitch Garver. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now back. Standing in, Max Kepler. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that misses for ball one. And this will be fouled away. Here it comes on one and one. Grounded back up the middle. Scooped up. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home court. The left fielder, number 20, Eddie Rosario. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Eddie Rosario, one for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. 
those are the pitches you only get maybe once an AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. The 2-1 home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Back up the middle. That's through for a base hit. He's now two for two in this one. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. No balls and a strike to count. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Donaldson is a prolific power hitter, and you probably didn't need me to tell you that. Doesn't matter what kind of pitching he faces, there's a lot of pop in that bat. Yeah, this guy absolutely does not discriminate. And the right fielder is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We played four full. It's the Tigers three and the Twins one. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And set to go is the switch hitting outfielder, Victor Reyes. Victor Reyes. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at bat. It's nothing in one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Well, these days don't happen often. You better dig yourself when you get three knocks in a big league way go. It's hard to have three hits in one day, but boy, this guy is off to a great start in this one. Halfway to 100 going, pitches, going, here it going. is. And there he goes towards second. In there, now the throw. It bounces, but he's out. Nice play there to pick the throw and put the tag on quickly. Wind up and the 0 1. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Three runs, seven hits, one error for the Tigers thus far. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0 2 fastball. It's 1 and 2. And Junior lays off that one, and the count's back even at two and two. And he fouls this one off. A full count, three and two to the Tigers' center fielder. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball, not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters. And you can see that both guys are well into the 90s, 95 on one hand and just two miles an hour slower on the other. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. A hey, curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. A ball and a strike to Miguel Cabrera. One ball, one strike. And that's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there, stealing a strike with that get me over breaking ball, and now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. And two and two. Oh. 
Three balls and two strikes to the Tigers designated hitter. Ball four. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Here's C.J. Crone now. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Count one and oh. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Back goes Rosario. On the warning track, he makes the catch. One left for Detroit as the lead remains three to one. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Twins to discuss his thoughts on Minnesota's lineup so far. And he told me he feels like they're being too patient at the plate right now. He said the problem is they're allowing themselves to fall behind in the count way too often, which is forcing them to constantly be in protect mode and swing at bad pitches. A lot of their outs have come from at-bats where they've fallen behind. So the focus going forward needs to be about being the aggressor early in the at-bats. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Here's the first pitch to him. Marwin Gonzalez is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. 1-0. and And the pitch. And that's waved at and missed one and one. A ball and two strikes to the twin shortstop. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. He had him on the ropes right there. Count leverage, two Out strikes back. against the batter. The He's going to have to put that in the memory bank because that guy made a nice two-strike oh, oh, approach yeah. right there. Made a nice two-strike adjustment. Fastball well outside. <laughs> Lifted down the line and left. And no one will track it down. No contact there, and it's one and two. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Rounded softly down the line toward first. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. High in the air out to center field. Giving Chase's junior. He tracks it down. A nice running play and there's one away. The center fielder, so a runner on first with one out now. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one. One and one. Has a look, now the pitch. Fastball called strike, one and two. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Griffey waits on it. And that's the second out of the inning. The bat. The Into the box now. Nelson Cruz. He flew out no. in his last at bat. 
almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling... And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Twins wind up stranding one. And it remains a 3-1 ball game. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And set to go is the second baseman, Jonathan Scope. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. And it's 0-2 to scope. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. And on 0-2, he misses with a fastball. A bouncer up the middle. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. The batter, the third baseman, Gamer Candelaria. Now here comes the Twins manager on his way to the mound. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here. Didn't pitch all that poorly, yet he's gone nonetheless. Randy Dobnik takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Number 68, Randy Dobnik. At the plate now, Jimer Candelario as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Now the 0-1. Swing and there it goes. He got all of that ball. And that's a home run into the top tank. So it's a two-run shot to right center. Fourth home run here in the early going as they stretch the lead to 5-1. Oh, man, he got hurt. His second pitch since coming in, and he serves one up. A reliever's worst nightmare and a big confidence boost to the lineup. Let's see if he can rebound. Standing in now, Austin Romine. Austin. As he lifts it in the air to right field. There to take it is Cruz, and that's the first out. Now batter. At the plate, the Harold Castro. Harold one for two in the Castro. ball game thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Inside, ball one. The 1 0 home is laid off, but in there for strike one. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. One out, nobody on. Line drive to left. But pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second the right out. Number four, Cameron. So coming to the plate, Cameron Maven. He was a double play victim last time around. Here comes the first pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. The Tigers do get a couple, however, on this two-run home run. On to the bottom of the sixth. It's the Tigers five, and the Twins one. Here's Miguel Sano. He'll get his side started in the inning, and Dan, so far, they've been stifled offensively since the first inning. Boy, they sure have that. They came out of the gates and.
And now pitch on the way. And that's by him. It's 0 and 1. Big swing by Sano and a ball sent to deep left field. And he will make the catch here on the edge of the warning track as he was just able to the get catcher, back there and eight. put it away for the first Pitch. down. Well, he hit that Four, ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. In there, and it's 0-1. We're in the sixth inning now of a five to one ball game. Slider and that's in there for strike two. His command has been outstanding so far hitting nearly all of the spots and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. One and two to the Twins catcher. Hey I get it he wants to set up that breaking ball down and away but that 0 2 fastball wasn't even close. Swung on and chopped up the middle on to first, and there were two down. Now back, first base. Up next for Minnesota, Max Kepler. He was a ground out victim last time up. First pitch on its way. Mm, a little tardy there, no balls and a strike. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Oh, and two, here it comes. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Down go the Twins in order. They're down here five to one. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Victor Reyes. Last time through was a base hit. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Swing and a liner. And that'll get down for a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch, and it's early trouble here this half of the inning. And I mean, obviously this guy is built to play in the daytime. Four for four, you know he's seeing it good right now. These are the days that you remember for a long time. Settling in now, Ken Griffey Jr. Fourth trip to the plate for him, and he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, chances are it's on his mind, Matt, but you just have to let that get out of the way as best you can. You have to approach this at bat just like any other. Otherwise, you're just getting in your own way. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Seventh inning here in a five to one ball game. Throw over to the bag. Don't want to forget about him. Runners off for second. Strike taken. The throw. Offline throw, but they still got him. Good job of getting the tag down there. Well, in my opinion, this one all came down to the catcher's footwork on that throw. That was just perfect. You have to use your feet to get your body into a good throwing position for an accurate throw. He did it just right, and he nabs another base run. Popped up. Garver shading to his right. Two gone. The batter, the designated hitter, Miguel. For the plate now is the designated hitter, Miguel Cabrera, 0 for 2 for him to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against him. Hammered the other way to deep right field. So a solo shot off the bat of Miguel Cabrera. Home run number nine on the year, and it's now a six to one ball game.
right now he can't wait to get to the plate against this pitching staff four home runs in this series bet he wishes he could play these guys every single day Homer Bailey will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seven so that'll bring up CJ Crone as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory he's hitless in three at bats to this point Good pitch there down below the zone got him to go after it. Six runs, 11 hits, one error for the Tigers thus far. Ball. The next 0 2 pitch to him misses ball, outside. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Buxton will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Ladies and gentlemen, but the Tigers do strike for one on the solo home run by Miguel Cabrera. Get up and stretch home half of the seventh coming up. It's the Tigers six and the Twins one. At the plate, Eddie Rosario. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. The windup and the 0 1. Pulled toward right center field, giving Chase his junior. He makes the catch, a great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Up next for Minnesota. One gone now in the Minnesota seventh, and here's Donaldson. And the pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. All one's the count. A one and one count now to Donaldson. Bases are empty. One man out. Grounder down the line at third. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Hit hard back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. And the throw here is going to get him at first. Excellent range there at short, and there are two away now. The batter number nine. Good job. Digging in and looking for more, Marwin Gonzalez. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. Hard hit ball to second, and that is through into right field for a single. No batter, number two. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Luis Arias, who could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. Well, he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. You see that swing right there? You know what that tells me, boys? That this pitcher is doing his job right here. But also, the offense is obviously not picking anything up today. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. One left for Minnesota. The lead remains five. It's six to one. Welcome back to Target Field as we send it to Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Tigers manager Ron Gardenhire during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said they're doing an excellent job with pitch selection, meaning they're swinging at the right pitches and doing damage with them. The numbers back that up. Five extra base hits on the stat sheet, guys. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Into the box. Leading off for the Tigers, the second baseman, Jonathan Jones.
Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hey. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. High in the air out to center field. Buxton is there, and he has it for the first out. Now batter. And a look there at the starter comparison, telling the story of the ball game. One guy still going and pitching well. The other one long since departed for the showers. Ready for another shot now. Jimer Candelario. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Ah, his eyes lit up on that one above the zone, but he comes up empty. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. He's got it. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now batting. Catching. Austin. Now at the plate, Austin Romine. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Chopper to short. Scooped up. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Detroit. They hold on to their 6-1 to one lead. Here's Byron Buxton now. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed. For the play, the center fielder, Byron Buxton. But Farmer is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 45, Buck Farmer. First offering on its way. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. Throw will not be in time as a perfect bunt there nets him a base runner to lead off the inning. Now batter. Here's Nelson Cruz now. He's hitless coming into this at bat, so the hit streak he's been riding is on the line here. Yeah, he's up in the double digits with it. You know he wants to keep it going as long as possible, but this very well could be the last chance to do that. As mentioned early in the broadcast, this series finale had the potential to result in a series sweep, and at this point in the game, it's looking rather promising. Hey, Matty V, Yogi Berra had a great saying, it ain't over till it's over. Well, this one's just about over with the team playing as well as they are and leading by as much as they are. This one is pretty much in the books. And it certainly would be a big morale boost to a team if they're able to complete a sweep like this one on the road in hostile territory. They might even change their nickname for this team to the Road Warriors. A sweep is looking pretty good as they're leading this one again late in the ballgame. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Miguel Sano will be next. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. 
Payoff pitch one more time. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Well, that was a slider in a 3-2 count. And it just didn't tempt them enough to get a good swing. A good job of pitch recognition and knowing the strike zone to draw the free pass there. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. 0 2 count. You could do just about anything you want right now. Up, down, in, out, hard, soft. Good time to be a pitcher. There's one on to first to complete the double play. Up next to the play. So base is empty now after the double play. And next to hit is the catcher, Mitch Garver. Here's the first pitch to him. From the stretch. One and one. Drives it out to deep right center field. On the run is Griffey. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Twins wind up stranding one. They trail six to one. Corey Guerin enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is. Number 38, Corey Guerin. Here comes the first pitch. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. The right fielder, number four, Cameron. Here's Cameron Maben now. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Reined in. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The left unit, number 22. So back to the top of the Detroit lineup, digging in, Victor Reyes. And he's trying to make this a five hit ball game for himself right here. First offering on its way. Nope, outside. Some movement now in the Minnesota bullpen as a right hander's up and throwing. Now the 1 0. Two out, nobody on. This is on the ground over to first. He's got it, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Tigers. They lead it 6-1. to one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and next to bat will be the Zach Godley is out from the bullpen now as he'll be making his first appearance of this young season. Zach Godley.
And now pitch on the way. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Maybe lucky to get a piece there. It stays 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Final line there for the Detroit starting pitcher. Great day's work any way you look at it. One of the big keys to having a good pitching performance is not being afraid to throw the ball into the strike zone. And this guy certainly wasn't in this one. Didn't allow a walk all game long. So far, two for three in this one. Now the 0-1. Short hit hard, scooped up. Throw on to first will get him, and the Twins are now down to their final out. The third baseman, number 24. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Cut fastball in there for a called strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to pull a trigger a little bit earlier in the count. Final strike for the Twins. Down the third baseline, but this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Two out, nobody on. Another one sent foul. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Struck him out. The Tigers go on the road and sweep their division rivals in this three-game series. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. Six to one, the final tally today. The Tigers took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Matthew Boyd wins his third of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.